Can I tell you something? Yeah. Uh, Kim Kardashian is dating this Pete Davidson. Right. You know how it happened? Uh, how? So she did SNL with okay. Pete, right? Yeah. <clears throat> and then they they have they do a scene together where they kiss, and she's like, "Oh, I felt a little something something when I was kissing Pete Davidson." So you know they always have those after party, the after show party. Uh -huh. He doesn't go to the party. And she's like, oh, well, where's Pete Davidson? I want, you know, God, this is the one guy that's ignoring Kim Kardashian, essentially. Right, right, right. So you know what she does? She texts him and she goes, hey, I, I heard so much about this big dick energy. I'd like to know more. Isn't that wild? No. Yeah. I heard the story from Chase and she doesn't lie. Wait, wait. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do I mean? She, like, she has on... On authority. That, no, no. I think there was a story that like had come out, like how did they met or some interview that she saw and Kim Kardashian. Oh, it was Keeping Up with the Kardashians. Sorry. The new one, the new season. She talks about how she met Pete and that's the story she reveals on Keeping Up with the Kardashians, the new one. And and that was the actual text she sent? Yeah. She's like, what's up with this? I hear about this big dick energy. Like, let's, let's. So that was her so way much of being about like, this big dick energy. Like, what's let's up? Gets on it. Yeah. Jesus. I know. Isn't that wild? Yeah. I mean, it's kind of a great opener. It's a it's fantastic opener to hear, I think, if you're a guy. Because you're right, because of his big dick energy rumors. See? Okay. Now, do All you right. think she meant the energy or the dick? Do you know what I mean? Like, it's is it a veiled thing of like, hey, I heard you got a big one? Or is she really like, hey, I want to see your swag? Well, it sounds like the thing is your energy, is ener like she's saying specifically energy, right? Now, with Pete, the rumor there are not just that i mean i've never heard about the energy i've heard about his actual penis right yeah right that's so, that, that's that's the debate i'm having you know i'm not sure i same. well no i i see what you're saying i'm saying that that energy it says energy so she's like i want to see your swag but i mean it's tied to the fact that he also has a big dick yeah which he does yeah yeah that's what i've heard you, listen, I've never met somebody more obsessed with dicks than you. I mean, <laughs> particularly big ones. There's such a twinkle in your eye right now. <laughs> <sighs> what? Am I not a woman? I mean, look. I mean, you always I go know, to this. Am I not a woman? I mean, I'm the only woman here besides Heather. And, yeah. you know. Yeah. Is that, what you, so is that what you two talk about what all day? Would you, what, what, wait, wait, wait. I mean, what would you want me to be into? You want me to be into I pussies mean, instead? I, I like dick. Yeah. I like dicks, babe. That's why I like you. Okay. I like your big old sloppy dick. I like it. There's no rumors about me. <laughs> well, let's start them now. Um, yeah. Pete is known as a, as a horse cock, is what they call him. <laughs> yeah. This is just the truth. No, I know. Milton Burl was known to have a biggie too. Yeah. Which is funny. Do you have, do you have like a special folder in your head? I do. <laughs> did you want me to continue? Because I yeah, can. Keep going. Okay. Um episode two, season one of Euphoria. There are thirty five dicks in that episode. You uh, listen, I got a good topic for you for your next therapy session. <laughs> <laughs> it's what's going on with you and Dicks. Dennis Rodman. Dennis Rodman? That's Biggie, right? I don't know. I mean, I feel like it's a solid guess. Because didn't he know. break his dick banging Carmen Electra? He said he broke it three times. Yeah. It's tough to break small ones. I get what you're saying. <laughs> Tommy Lee. Verified. 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 <laughs> Blue check mark next to his dick. Yeah. That's a really good idea. <laughs> John Hamm. Oh, I, I didn't. Oh, right, 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 yeah, yeah. We discovered that on this show. Yeah, yeah. And he's a good-looking guy. So he's like, the, you know what I mean? He's like like uh, classically handsome. Yeah. John Hamm looks like just, you know, leading man kind of yeah. face. And he's got a fucking hog on him. What do you think Henry Cavill's got? That I don't know. There's there's not dick rumors about him. No dick rumors. Can I tell you what I think he really has? Hmm. Probably like a normal dick. I think average, yeah. yeah. Which, I'm like, yeah. Which, guess what? It's probably great. It's probably great. Would you give him a, a tug on his tongue? What if he was like, my balls are so backed up? 
Would you help him? I'd have to ask permission first from you. Well, you got it. So I do. Sure. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't realize he played Superman. I I changed my answer to our discussion we had a million years ago. Like, Which, who do I bang? Yeah. I was like Batman, but I forgot that he played Superman. I'm yeah. gonna go ahead and change that to, to Superman. Him. So you would you would tug his stuff though? Yeah, of course. Okay. I mean, you would probably wouldn't you tug his stuff? He's fucking perfect. He could probably talk me into it. He's perfect. He's perfect. Yeah. He's perfect? Well, look at him. Yeah. That mustache I don't like. No, the mustache is queer as fuck, but I like the other stuff going I mean, on. Got great eyes, great facial structure. Yeah, he's just... Hair, bod. Uh, dude, yeah. really? God, we got to find out about that cock from somebody. <laughs> we have to. There's got to be someone that knows. We're putting it out there. I like how you said it. Like, we got to know. We do. We got to. And by the way, when I say gotta. we got to, it's Christina. She's got to know. <laughs> She wants details. I mean, if you if one of your friends was like, guess what? I hooked up with Henry Cavill. I, I want to like, know. Would you be like, come into this room right now and like sit? like? Of course. Me. I'd be like, tell me everything. Tell me the dick sitch. No, that's what you would start with. Yeah, dick yeah. sitch. I've yeah. done it before. I've, I've been around you. You're always like, oh, you hooked up last night? How was that dick? And like, <laughs> that's the first question I always ask yeah. another girl. Yeah, well, or when a girl's like, sitch? oh, I'm dating this new guy. He's got, Christina's like, what's that dick like? And so I'm like, <laughs> Well, it's important. Nothing else. She's not like, what's he like? It's like, tell she's like, is that dick? How's that dick? What's his dick sitch like? I'm like, Jesus Christ. Because a dick sitch can make or break a sitch. You understand? <laughs> a, 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 a bad, I'm telling you, like, you don't, you guys want to hear it. The truth is, Ugh. listen to me. Do you yeah, want to know? I do want to know. <laughs> I do. A dick can tip, it's a tipping point, okay? Okay. Listen, I'm are you listening. paying attention? I'm listening, yeah. For instance, let's say you're on the fence about a guy. Right. But he's got great dick sitch. Right. You're going to lean positively because you're like, yeah, but that dick sitch is pretty great. Uh -huh. If you're leaning negatively and his dick sitch ain't so hot, you're going to go tip negative. So right. if you're on the fence about a dude, that dick can make or break him. Yeah. I mean, I've made mistakes many times. What an elegant and just beautiful way to summarize the situation. Yeah. Yeah. But Kim K knows what's up. She mm. leads with that. So she's like, I'm, a, I'm, I'm going to lean positively. And she likes big ones. We know this. Ray J. We all saw yeah. the video. She's obviously into Pete. Big dicks. Yeah. I couldn't believe how big his dick was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Kanye probably has a normal dick, I'm guessing. So she went, but she married the normal dick. We don't, but we don't know what his dick sitch is. Yeah, you would know. You but, think so? For you sure. You think it would get out? If you're that famous, it would get out. Yeah. Mm, if you're that, I mean, no one talks about it. It's probably just normal. And he's had a lot of lovers. Probably, yeah. Paramours. Yeah, they would, they would be talking. I mean, it's probably just like literally a normal. That dick. girl that's like, yeah, I did my makeup myself. Yeah. I was Josh Safdie's meows when he did Uncut Jobs. What? She was, she was uh, having relations with Kanye. Oh, 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 right, right, right. Julia right Fox. After, Julia yeah. Fox. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> she's so funny, dude. I love her. Here's when you would know about a real famous person's dick. If it was really crazy small or really crazy big, yeah, that's when you—that's when it would make the rumor mill. That's so true. Yeah, I don't know if I've heard any crazy smalls rumor mill. <sighs> yeah, I mean, you'd have to. I think I said it'd have to be like, like really notable. Yeah, and the person would probably have to be probably kind of an asshole for someone to, to be reporting that. You know what I mean? Like Gosh. spreading that. I don't know. Or That's, at least they get around a lot. So like there would be so many people that had the information about it. Yeah. 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 That's what she goes. She goes, yeah, yeah. I did it myself. <laughs> yeah. So that dick sitch can really make a sitch. Uh-huh. Yeah. It can, it can make or break. I'm telling you. I'm I believe, telling I believe you. Because there have been guys where I was like, no, oh, no. The dick sitch ain't too great either. And then you're like, it's done. It's but if it were done. great, then you you stay in a little bit longer because yeah. you're like dick sitch is pretty great. I don't yeah. give up to the dick sitch right now. Fuck, you're such a fucking whore. <laughs> God. So. So what's perfect? What's what's you great? Married. What's you great? Married her. What's great? I'm not telling you this stuff. What's great? What do yeah. you mean? What's great? What I married? What's great? No, 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 no. That this is great. 
This is not a You great... think that, first of all, first of all, you think I'm going to choke you. I want to scoop out your eyeballs. I want to be creepy with you. All that stuff. That could have leaned me out, right out. But right. I was like, his dick sitch is pretty tight. So I'm going to stay in this. How do you think you stuck around for so long? <laughs> I should have dipped out long ago, my man. There were a lot of red flags in the beginning. And I was like, but his dick sitch is tight. Yeah. I'm serious. That's why we're here. Well, that's a good point. And so is life. It comes full circle, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad you got a good dick sitch. When you see my dick. I turn it to a telescope. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Bay. Bay. Yeah. Wow. What a what a lovely talk. <laughs> I'm sure we're gonna hear about dick sitches because of this talk too. Yeah, I mean, look, I'm sure there are women out there listening that have stayed in relationships longer than they should have because that dick sitch was it was pretty great. Yeah. And then there's girls that pieced out prematurely, maybe, because the dick sitch wasn't so great. Ladies, why don't you uh, let us know what your um, dick sitches were like? It can make or break. Yeah, it could be good or bad. Uh, your mom's podcast at gmail.com. I recently had a conversation, not quite like this. Um, <laughs> Somewhat similar, 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 yeah. Um, about how long you would stay in a relationship where um, sex was unbelievable, right? Person is unbelievably attractive, like so hot, unbelievable sex, mm -hmm. but brought nothing else to the table. <laughs> My theory was that the older you were, the m less you would tolerate it, right? Like if you're 21, you're fucking baby Zolo. You'd be like, I'll ride this shit out for a few years. Oh, yeah. You waste some good years on that chick. Once you're in your 40s, you'd literally be like, that was a fun week. But I'm not, you know what I mean? You'd be like, because you value your, your time so much more the older you get. You realize how precious your time is. Yeah. And I don't know. I mean, See, I, I might beg, I'm, I'm, Yana. Yeah. I might beg to differ here. Okay, go ahead. I might go longer on the dum-dum who's really attractive Simply because we're just banging, right? Like, I'm not going to have to talk to them or spend time with no, them. this is a relationship. Oh, shit, that's tough. That's the point. The point is when you're 20s, you don't care, probably. You're like, well, I guess this is a relationship. You don't even know. You don't even have, like, a real gauge for, your, for relationships. I mean, at this point, I can't even tolerate... This is my point. I know. I know. I thought you just meant like hookupsies, not like, not like just, I thought you just meant sexuals. But I can't even tolerate like a stupid barista at this point. Exactly. I know. I know. You don't have, to, you don't tolerate a lot of nonsense because you're, you know, you've lived half a life, you know? No. I know you're thinking like, I just want to get railed. Yeah. <laughs> you have the look on your face. You're like, can we just make an arrangement? Am I wrong? Jesus. I mean, you, you're the one fucking saying it. You just said, like, I but, just uh, want to But in my head, I went to this whole scenario. I was like, well, I'm obviously widowed. Tom's been dead for how long? And then, like, like, like I have to go. But you, you can't just ask me to do these hypotheticals because I got to, like, rearrange my whole life. Like, I'm a mother. I spend a lot of time with the kids. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, could you fucking just make it a little easier? <laughs> God. No, you're right. I wouldn't. I don't go understand why everyone's dumb. a fucking stupid idiot. So, <laughs> I had too much sodium at lunch. Is my face bloating? Yeah. Um, <laughs> all right. So it's just if it's just banging though. Obviously, you can go for a while. Yeah. yeah of course. Yeah, but I can't tolerate stupidity now. You know, that's well, yeah. That's yeah. the entire. Premise. Plus, looks are fleeting. You know, once you hit your forties, you're like, I'm just happy to be here. Yeah. And we're just alive. It's fine. It's fine. You give up on that stuff. Yeah. Ooh, mommy, did you enjoy that highlight? Why don't you have more fun? Click around. Click here. Or here. Or here. Or here. Or here. Look. Try it out. Have more fun. Why don't you subscribe? That way, every time a video drops, you can be notified. You're not going to miss a moment of denim. Okay? Try it out. Be her.